The following provides information on how to set up automation queues on your server. To configure your automation queues on your server, go to Menu, Dermy Labs, Macro Editor. You will be presented with a Macro Editor screen, which is based off two tabs. The first tab is the automation queue and is made up of two windows. The first is the macro window placed on the left hand side and the macros created here are stackable. Macros are for any messages that are going outward from the Doremi server to another device. The second window on the right displays the start time and action of the macro you created. In this example, we are going to build macros for a show start, which is generally the first thing you will want to do when building a show playlist. Start by clicking on the green plus icon button located on the top left hand side of the Automation Queue tab window to create a new macro. You will be presented with a macro settings window. In this example, we will type in the name of the macro 2D flat start in the corresponding window and then click on the OK button. You will then see that the macro created is placed into the macro listing window in the Automation Queue tab. Once you have created a macro, you will then need to assign an action to the macro by clicking on the Insert a New Action button on the bottom right hand side of the window. You will then be presented with an Add a New Action window. In this example, we want to insert the action of striking the projector's lamp since this action takes some time. So click on where it says Projector to Highlight, then click on where it says Lamp to Highlight, then click on the Add button. A lamp settings window will appear that prompts you with the projector name. Confirm that this is accurate for your setup. Then select the action or value you want to perform with this macro. Click on the on button to switch to the position on. Then click on the OK button. You will then see that in the action window, the message reads our selection of Barco projector lamp on. Next, you'll need to create the next command you want the server to send out. Click on the Insert a New Action button. Click to highlight where it says Library, and then click to highlight where it says ECNA. In this example, we are using an ECNA device, but you could select the corresponding device listed for your particular setup. Like a junior or a raw device that you have added, or if you are using the GPIO cable that comes with the Dorami server. In this case, we will select Library, ECNA, and then click on the Add button. You are then presented with the ECNA pre-built library window that will list many specific functions we might want the device to perform. We are going to select the house lights mid one, then click on the OK button. A send a message window will appear for us to select the device. We will click on ECNA, make sure that the message type is selected as text. Now we'll click on the OK button. We will then see that the action sent house lights mid one to ECNA has been added to the action list. To continue our example of creating the macro 2D flat start, we will click on the insert a new action button. In some cases, you will not want to send all commands down at the same time, so you will want to insert a macro control by selecting macro control from the add a new action window. Then highlight the delay selection to insert a delay between actions. Click the add button to bring up the delay setup window. The delay setup window is divided by either minutes or seconds each of which have a plus or minus selection next to the corresponding section. In this example, we will click on the seconds plus button to read two seconds which will delay the macro execution two seconds. Click the OK button. Then you'll see that the delay two seconds action has been added. We will insert another new action by clicking on the insert a new action button. We are going to add a projector channel switch to 2D action by highlighting the projector. Channel switch and then clicking the Add button. You will be presented with a projector preset setup window. Verify that the correct projector is indicated in the dropdown. Then we'll click on the plus button so that the number three is displayed. Note that this selection is just an example. Our selection of three does not indicate any particular setting in your projector. Check your specific projector channel settings to input the correct setting for your macro creation. To continue, click on the OK button. Verify that it has been added to your action list. We will add another action to switch the audio to digital one. To do this, click on add a new action button, highlight library, highlight ECNA, and then click on the add button. Again, the predefined library window appears and we will scroll down and select sound digital one. 
then click the OK button. The Send a Message window appears. Select ECNA, Text, and then click on the OK button. Verify that this action has been added to the action list. Next, we need to add another delay command to separate these commands out. Do this by clicking on the Insert a New Action button. Then, in the Add a New Action window, select Macro Control. Then select Delay, and then click on the Add button. In this example, we will click the Seconds Plus button to read one second. Then click on the OK button. The last action we will add to our 2D flat start macro is the Dowser Open command. Click the Insert a New Action button, select Projector, then Dowser, then click on the Add button. From the Dowser Settings window, verify that the correct projector is listed. Click the Open button in the Value section, then click on the OK button. Verify that this new action is present in the action list. All the following actions listed here represent an example of a standard 2D flat start macro. Projector lamp on, send house lights to mid one, delay two seconds, next is the switch projector channel, followed by switch to sound to digital one on the processor, followed by a delay, and finally open the projector's dowser. Again, this is a typical show sequence. If we want to modify any action, simply click to highlight the action you want to modify. Then click the magnifying glass icon and make your appropriate modification. Click the OK button to save your changes. Should you want to move any action within the order listed, simply click to highlight the action you want to move. Then click either the green up or down arrows located above the action list to move it to your desired place in the sequence. Should you want to delete an action from the list, Simply click to highlight the action you want to delete, then click the Remove button above the action list and your action will be deleted. You'll want to create a specific macro for every type of show start. Examples would be 2D Scope Start, 3D Scope Start, and 3D Flat Start. Simply create a macro like we did on our 2D Flat Start macro. Other macro actions you will want to build are Feature, where typically we would add a dimming of the house lights, Add a macro titled Feature. Click the Insert a New Action button. In this example, we will select Library, ECNA. Click the Add button. Scroll down the library list, then select House Lights Down. Click the OK button. From the Send a Message window, select ECNA. Message type is Text, and then click on the OK button. A common macro that is created would be named as Credits. This is to be used when the credits begin to roll at the end of the feature and you want to send a command to bring the house lights up to mid as the audience exits the auditorium. To do this, click on the green plus icon and type in credits. Click the OK button to save the macro name. Click to highlight the macro credits. Click the insert a new action button. Select library, ECNA, click add button, scroll down, and click to select the house lights mid to action. Then click the OK button. Next, select the device. Click on the OK button. Another typical macro created would be titled as Show End. The Show End macro should have all the actions required to reset the entire auditorium. These actions are typically House Lights Up, followed by adding the action, Turn Projector Lamp Off, followed by Switch the Audio Back to Non-Sync Music, including a delay action between actions. Then lastly, close the projector dowser. Again, the example provided in this demonstration may not specifically correspond to your installed automation hardware or your auditorium needs, but simply used to demonstrate how to create the necessary macros to send automation cues from the Doremi server. That concludes our demonstration. Should you need any additional assistance, please contact our local technical support team. Thank you for watching.